Let's see how we can set up and run PHP projects in Visual Studio Code. First, go to your extensions here or hit Ctrl Shift X as a shortcut and search for PHP. Now here you will see PHP IntelliFence. So I already have it installed, but in your case, you'll have to install it. So let me just uninstall this and let me show you how you can install it. Okay, so this is now uninstalled. So click on this install button and this will be installed for you. Okay, now if you scroll back in quick start, it will tell you to disable built-in VS Code PHP language feature. So we need to disable the built-in feature for PHP core formatting so that we can use this PHP intelligence. So copy this built-in PHP or you can just type it and search it and you will get this. So go here and disable both of this. I have already done it, but in your case, just click on the disable button. Go here and again, click the disable button. Okay, now we have installed the PHP intelligence. Now we again need to install another extension so that we can run our PHP files. So to do that, search for PHP server. Now here, you get this. Click on this. That has 1.6 million installs as of now. And from Bra Pifra, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. So, and now just click on install. Okay, so we have now installed the PHP server so that we can actually run our PHP files in our web browser as a server. And we have installed PHP IntelliFence. And why did we install this? For, you know, code intelligence, that means formatting, autocomplete, code completion, and all that stuff. So now let's go ahead and let's create a folder in which we will write our PHP code. So let's go to desktop and let's create a new folder. Let's call it my PHP website. Go inside this and click on select folder. Here, create a new PHP file and I'll just call it text.php. Here, let's write some PHP code. Okay. So there is no color coding here. So what you need to do is, I think I disabled something that should I should not have disabled. So here you have two things, right? Language basics and language features. So what you need to do is just disable the features, not the basics. So I'll just re-enable it. All right. And I'll go back to my file. And now, yeah, everything is color coded. So excuse me for that. Okay, now PHP is here. Let's see how we can run this. Now just right click and click on PHP server server project. And here, as you can see, hello world is shown. Now in your case, you might get an error that says PHP not found or something like that. That is because PHP is either not installed in your computer or PHP is not added to your environment variables. Now, how can you install PHP? So in Windows or in Linux or in Mac, you can install PHP by installing XAMPP. So I have already installed XAMPP here, so I have PHP already installed with me. Or you can do a standalone installation of PHP. Check the link in the description and they will show you how to install PHP system wide that is independent of VS Code. So what we just installed is just for VS Code, but we need an underlying PHP. Check the link in the description, I'll show you how you can install that.